What's up, YouTube? Dylan here with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar with Brista Brittany. And today I am hoping to that I have asked myself, I have seen all over YouTube, Facebook, and all different kinds of forums on Instagram as well. And I am going to put them to the test today. And you may be asking yourself, what are we talking about? Well, we are talking about when to start the timer on your espresso shot. So it has been a wide controversial subject, um, something that's been touchy to some people. And I want to figure out what is the best way for me. Now, what's best for me maybe won't be best for you. However, I am going to see by preference, just kind of see the shot quality and stuff like that. Does it change based on when you start the timer? And that's what we're going to uh, kind of answer today. Uh, I'm going to do my best. So I am going to start the timer on first drop, and then we are going to taste that shot. And then we, sorry, my dogs are messing around. Then we are going to be timing the shot once we start it. So. We are going to first start off by timing it when we see first drop. This is what I am accustomed to. This is what I have found to be uh, better tasting for me with my palate. However, I do want to try the other side as well because I feel as having a YouTube channel, I need to be able to answer some of these questions. And the only way to be able to answer these questions is to do it for you guys. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. My wife is going to be behind the camera. She's gonna be following us along here. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the family. My name's Dylan with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar, and this channel is all to just have fun. It's to teach you guys about making coffee. It's to teach you guys new techniques, new tools, new product reviews. We got a lot of stuff in store for this channel. I want you guys to know that I am extremely thankful. My wife and I are extremely thankful for you guys. We are extremely blessed to have you guys in this family supporting us on this channel as this is something that we absolutely love to do. Um, this is going to be, uh, I actually just remodeled uh, my area and this is all for you guys as well. So I am trying to make this area to where I can film anywhere I go. So that way I can just keep getting new stuff into my espresso bar so I can keep helping you guys learn uh, and then you guys can follow us on our journey. So again, thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of you guys' love and support. Uh, if you guys can smash that like button after this video is done or if you guys are watching this pre-recorded, uh, if you guys could go ahead and hit that like button right now, I'd really, really appreciate it. If you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to join the family. We have the best subscribers in the world and we are on our way to a thousand subscribers, guys. So. Mm -hmm. um, Keep following us, keep following our journey. We love you guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message, contact me, and I will help you guys to the best of my ability. So let's get started with the video. So we are going to actually be using some beans that one of my subscribers, like I said, I have the best subscribers. Uh, one of my subscribers sent to me, his name is Dane. Make sure to follow his uh, his channel and subscribe. Coffee with Lofty. Um, it's coffee coffee with Lofty. Uh, definitely really knowledgeable. Uh, he is in. Uh, he's from Australia. He sent these to a couple of us from YouTube, um, and we had a great time uh, trying out some other coffees that he sent as well. So again, uh, thank you so much, Dane, for sending me this. Uh, I can't wait to try it again. I have already tried a cup. I've kind of sneaked one in earlier today. It was extremely good. Uh, I'll make sure to post that latte art. Actually, when this video is posted, uh, you guys will see on the thumbnail, that is the first drink that I made with these beans and the latte art that I made with this. So thank you guys so much. Today, we are going to actually be using the niche grinder. So again, shout out to Jamin and Mr. Thomas for uh, making this for me and sending it to me. So really extremely thankful. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough. So here we go. We are going to get started here. We are going to be dosing out 20 grams. So we're going to get 20 grams here. Beans going wild. Beans going wild. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's 20 grams. Like I said, this is going to be uh, timed on first drop. 
So we are using grind size number 11. This should be perfect for uh, timing it on first drop. Now, the difference is, is when you time it on first drop and then you change it to timing it as soon as you start the machine, you're gonna have to adjust your grind because whether you start that timer on first drop or you start that timer when you first initially turn on that espresso machine or hit that button, depending on which machine you have, um, you're gonna have to adjust it because you're still gonna wanna hit that 22 to 28 second mark. Now, I have had shots past 28 seconds that have been delicious. I've had shots that have been under 22 seconds. They have been delicious. Now, that's just a guideline to help beginners and to just kind of keep that guideline to try to stay consistent every single time. So uh, if you guys want, uh, we are going to try this out and we are going to see what it tastes like with first uh, drop and we are also gonna see what it tastes like when we start the machine. So we're gonna have to do some adjusting based on this shot and that's what we're gonna do. So if you guys can follow me along, here we go. We're gonna start grinding up the beans. So we're just gonna get the rest of those beans out of there. And we have 19.9 grams, so we're gonna use that. Uh, really nice and fluffy as well, so Nisha always does a good job at grinding those beans just the way you want them. So we're gonna go ahead and distribute. Get a tamp. Make sure you clear all those coffee grounds out. Gonna go ahead and flush that group head. And we are going to start, like I said, with first drop. So here we go. Also shout out to Mr. Thomas for sending me that shot glass as well. And start that timer. So right now it's about a five second pre-infusion. All right, so now we hit first drop. Shot looks good. Definitely some nice color to that shot. All right, shot looks really good. So again, this is timing it when we see first drop. All right, so 41 grams in 30, let's say 31 seconds. It kind of just kind of goes on about its business until it feels like the last last drop so uh, as you guys can see really nice color to that um, just give it kind of like a little mix uh, so what i'm actually going to do is i am actually going to mix this because i want to give it the best taste possible so crema is normally pretty bitter um, so what i like to do is some people will actually remove the crema uh, and just drink it like that and they say it's more enjoyable but I'm just going to mix everything together here get that nice and mixed up that was really hot mm -hmm. but that's fine all right cheers wow okay so really smooth creamy um, definitely think that uh, I mean, there is zero bitterness at all to it, no sourness, definitely a really good shot, really enjoyable shot. Um, this is something I can definitely, definitely drink. Um, too. Um, now, I can't sit here and tell you that I taste all these tasting notes because honestly, I have a hard time tasting the tasting notes. So if you guys are new to coffee, um, tasting espresso is, I feel like tasting notes for me anyways, in my personal experiences, um, it's extremely hard to taste the tasting notes, the true tasting notes. Um, you kind of get a little bit of it. 
they're playing with their toys. Uh, you kind of get a little bit of tasting notes, but they don't really shine through the coffee. They don't really burst through your uh, tasting palate at all. Um, but from what I taste, it's definitely a smooth shot. Now, if you really want to get into uh, fine tuning your palate and tasting these tasting notes that are on the bags, definitely recommend pour over or AeroPress for that uh, or even an Americano, but uh, definitely have better luck with the AeroPress and the pour over. So definitely check that out. But Definitely a really smooth shot. I'm gonna give it one more taste test before. Yeah, so really good. So definitely, thank you so much, Dane, for sending me these beans. Um, they're absolutely incredible. Actually, no, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this, why not? Ali from Germany says, hi Dylan, regards from Germany. Hello, welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome. Hello everyone. We're just gonna stay caffeinated, so we're just gonna drink this really fast before we go, because I don't want to waste a shot. And it's just too not. good to waste, so. And it's really hot, so um, yeah, it's really hot. So be careful. Mm. Ooh. All right, ooh, that was hot. <laughs> Woo! Your teeth look yellow from the espresso. <laughs> Please don't do that again. All right, real men wear pink, so. No, this is a no judgment zone. We're just staying caffeinated, learning about coffee, and just enjoying our experiences. Right. Okay, so based on what we saw, um, so pretty much, let's just go ahead and uh, talk about this last shot talk about and how we're going to have to make those adjustments. <sighs> Woo! My throat's still on fire, I think. <laughs> I think I burned my esophagus. Oh my goodness. Woo! Time here. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm just going to clean this off, and we're going to talk about it here. So this is the thing about lives. Kind of got to walk th walk it through here with me, but let's talk about it. So what you guys saw was a shot that went a little bit longer than I would have liked. However, in my tasting experiences, uh, that was definitely a really good uh, tasting shot of espresso. So I enjoyed that shot, and that's definitely a shot where I'd want to stay at right there at that time. So we hit our desired um, 40 grams, 41 grams in about 34 seconds. So we have to now adjust based on, now we're not gonna do it by first drop, we're gonna do it from when we turn on the machine. As you guys saw, there was a bit of a lag there. So because of that six, five to six second lag, we're gonna have to make up for that for our next shot. So in that case, we have to go coarser because we need a shot that's gonna come out uh, a little bit faster uh, based on starting it as soon as you start the actual uh, machine. So we are on right now on uh, grind setting number 11 with the niche. Um, so in order to kind of adjust, we're gonna have to go coarser because we're gonna have to have that water hit the puck and it's gonna have to flow through that puck faster because otherwise we're going to be about 40 seconds on that shot um, and that's going to be way too long when you think about 22 to 28 seconds so we're going to go to from grind setting 11 to maybe grind size 8 so we're going to go to grind size 8 and uh, we're going to see where it happens we might have to be at 9 but we're going to try 8 first so we're going to do the same thing so if my wife can just follow me over here we are going to kind of do the same process, except we are starting the shot clock, shot timer, you know, right when we turn on the machine. So we're going to be counting pre-infusion. So we're going to answer that question. Hopefully today, which one do I prefer? Do I think it's a big difference? And so on and so forth. So make sure if you are interested to stay tuned. If you guys are still watching this video, thank you so much. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it really does support our channel and it helps me just make more great content for you guys. Um, and I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate you guys. Linda asks, so what is the desired temperature to taste the notes in your experience? Um, well, I brew all of my AeroPress at about 205 degrees, 202 degrees, depending on the uh, the recipe. And I let it normally cool down. Uh, I would say about 160 is my preferred preference. Um, I actually, I actually haven't, bless you, I haven't actually, um,
I normally swish it around, add some room temperature water to it, um, and it definitely cools it down a lot. So I'm gonna do that as well, kind of just tell you guys the best temperature, in my opinion, uh, to start enjoying those tasting notes. So again, we went from grind setting 11. We have to compensate for now pre-infusion, so we're gonna have to have that water come flow way faster through the puck so we get that desired 22 to 28 seconds with our 40 grams out. So we went from 11 to eight on the niche. So we're gonna go ahead and start grinding. Bean smell, absolutely amazing. So again, Dane, if you're watching, great job. Perfect, so 20 grams. Just gonna kinda mix that up. And we are going to test this out. So I'm going to adjust this a little bit here. So if you guys can see, this is something you don't want. So you're gonna have that little tiny edge channeling right there. So I'm just going to increase this just a little bit to see if I can't smooth out that area a little bit more. compact as best as we can so here is something that you have to watch out for so because i have this right here this is taking some of the grinds away because of the way it tanned and it was wet this is not going to be good and this is actually going to be a bad shot because of the fact that on it and it took it away so we can do this all we want but it's not going to be a really really good um, shot here so we're gonna have to pull another one just because it is grabbing those grinds uh, but that's okay that's the glory of lives uh, you can't really um, go back on anything that you're doing so I'm just gonna go ahead and tamp this uh, we're actually just gonna dump this out here so just to give you guys some um, insight some knowledge if you guys ever see that don't try to pull that shot. It's just going to be a wasted shot and uh, you're not going to be very happy and you're going to wonder why you got all that channeling and that is why. So uh, you want to make sure you keep everything dry and clean. Um, so unfortunately we're going to have to do that again, but that's okay. Uh, no big deal. So if you guys are watching this pre-recorded, you guys can go ahead and fast forward it to the next shot if you would like. Or you can stay here and just kind of bond with us while we're going through our shot here. But that's the glory of live. That's something I love about live is because it just gives me the ability to show you guys what happens behind the scenes. Sometimes things don't always work out and that's okay because sometimes you got to wait for the best results. So here we go. So I didn't want to show you guys that shot. It was going to be bad. Um, I'll do a video on that as well. Uh, I think that'll be a good way for you guys to see. However, here is 20 grams. All right, so let me show you guys the difference between that last one and this. So here we are going to so as you can see, nice flat bed of grinds there. We got our porter filter all not or our tamper all nice and dry. I'm gonna go ahead and press. And as you see, now there is none of that, those little holes right there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and same thing, flush that out. Instead, the only difference is we are going to start 
our timer as soon as we start the shot here. So there is an option on here. I believe it's that. So as soon as Okay, so yep, that is it. So I am new to this mode because obviously I don't do this one, but here we go. We're gonna go ahead and set this in here. So we're starting the timer before first drop. the coffee is shy oh you know what I actually went finer so hey you know what this is live and that's okay so we're actually going to have to just... sorry about that here we go so I'm gonna show you guys what I did so because I was in a hurry to do this this is what happens on the niche we were at 11 we need to go to about 13 or 14 i went finer uh, i'm so used to adjusting the atom that i kind of adjusted this the wrong way but you know we live and we learn so let me just pull one more shot for you guys any questions or comments honey um Ali said you wanted 14. Yep. Yep, so I messed up on that one. That is my bad. I told you guys I was going coarser, but I went finer. So, you know, <laughs> it happens. What? My dogs keep hitting the bell. They love that bell. Yep, I'm going to go let them out. And put this up for a sec. No, it's fine, honey. You don't have to. Oh, you sure? Yeah. It just gives them the real world experience of having three dogs. Oh, Angela said that she is at um, their cabin and didn't bring the espresso machine. Now off to buy beans at a mom and pop grocery store to do pour overs tomorrow. <laughs> That's cool. Going to the grocery store at a mom and pop store to get some beans. All right, 11, 12, 13, we're on grind setting 14 now. So we're gonna go ahead and start that up. So a little bit of chaff there. Hopefully this is the money shot right here after making some mistakes, but that is okay. Mistakes are good. It teaches everybody that you are human. And I'm glad that you guys can witness it live because you guys can just see sometimes the struggle uh, that everybody has. Everybody makes mistakes, but that is part of the process. So again, you wanna make sure you clean all of that off. Make sure it is dry and you want to make sure you get a nice even tamp. All right. So we're going to go ahead and flush that once again. Lock that in. And we are like we were going to do the last time when we start the machine. So here we go. All right, so shot is started. So there is timer. So again, we want uh, a desired 22 to 28 seconds, or 28 seconds within uh, 40 grams here. So there we go. That is 40 grams in 27 seconds. So that is a perfect shot when you start your timer on first drop. So 
that was definitely worth the wait, guys. So again, sorry. Um, I knew what I was gonna do. I just went coarse or went finer as opposed to coarser. Um, but again, that is okay. So I'm glad that we got this perfect shot. I mean, we literally got 27 seconds and we got our 40 grams. So this, I mean, still really nice crema there. Uh, really nice color to it. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and give this a taste test. So. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. All right, so. Does it taste good? Yeah, so, I mean, I am really, really shocked by this result. So, I mean, just giving it another taste test here. It definitely does taste a little bit smoother, so I don't know. Maybe I am a believer. Maybe I will start as soon as I start the machine. Um, that is actually really, really good. Mm. So just kind of my outcome. Uh, I know this is no scientific thing. I have no 100% research why you should do one or the other. Again, this is all based on tasting preference. There's going to be YouTube videos out there that are more polished than mine, and they're going to tell you you should start with first drop. You should start as soon as you start the machine. I am not going to tell you guys which one to, to which one you should do. I encourage you guys to try both um, because it is based on personal preference. It is based on your tasting um, tasting notes, the palate, uh, and how you like your espresso. Now, most people don't drink espresso. Most people who are buying espresso machines from home, um, they're more so liking either an Americano or a milk-based beverage. Now, does this make a huge difference with a milk-based beverage? Um, I'm gonna be doing that test too coming up on my channel, but I think having a milk-based beverage just doesn't really matter if you start it um, based on the taste of it. I mean, I can taste the difference, don't get me wrong, between uh, starting it with first timer, uh, first drop, and starting it as soon as you start the machine. You can definitely tell in espresso. A lot smoother when you start it as soon as you start the machine, not on first drop. Definitely can give you guys that. Now, with the milk-based beverage, I feel like it's going to hide a lot of that. Um, and as long as you're in the ballpark of either one, you're going to get a great tasting milk-based beverage. That's just how it's going to be, especially if you're adding any kind of sugars or anything like that. I don't. She does. Um, and it's going to hide a little bit more if you put sugars in it. But... Um, based on just the espresso alone. Definitely would say I am really pleasantly surprised with the outcome of starting that timer as soon as I turn that paddle on. Uh, definitely really, really good. So I'm gonna give you guys another taste test now that I let it cool down a little bit. Yeah, so I can definitely say this is so much smoother. Um, starting it right away. And uh, when you start it, uh, when you see the first drop. And that's also a big difference. So a lot of people ask, okay, Dylan, when do I, or when should I, uh, how, or how, what's your grind setting? So people ask me, I think that's the number one question I get every day from any of the subscribers, anybody on forums. Dylan, what do you have your niche set to? Well, here's the difference. As you guys saw on this video, the perfect shot for starting or for your espresso when starting uh, as soon as you see first drop was around 11 but if you start it when you start the machine you saw that perfect shot was actually at 14 so there's so many variables when it comes to what your grind setting should be because it depends on do they start it on first time uh, first drop do they start it when they start the machine when they push the button um, what uh, what beans are they using? What roast are they using? Light, dark, medium, and also what is the age? And you could even get the same exact age of the bean, exact roast uh, roasting batch, and it's totally different per grinder because each grinder has different settings. So uh, again, this test was just trying to show you guys which one do I think is better. We're trying to solve this debate here. I'm not trying to influence you either way. I can strongly say that I recommend for you guys to try both methods because that is truly how you're going to know 
what you prefer. I don't want to tell you what you prefer because I don't know. I can tell you that I, after doing this test and experiment, prefer actually starting when you turn on the machine. And that's very surprising because I have not done that very often. I think I started doing that uh, but I saw so many videos when I was watching. I mean, I got my Barista Express about a year and a half ago, and all I could do was watch videos, 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 and every single video I watched pretty much told me, you have to start it when you see first uh, when you see that first drop because that's gonna be the best tasting espresso. I never really thought about it. Well, what if I tried it when I started the machine? Is it gonna taste any different? Um, and my thought process was, no, it's gonna be a lot faster it's going to taste a little bit more sour because it's going to be less time that that water is saturating that puck and it's going to be a lot faster extraction it's going to be under extraction uh, under extracted but after tasting this shot i can tell you guys really really pleasantly surprised really enjoyed that so if you guys are still watching and enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you guys haven't already please hit that subscribe button to support our channel and uh, we are going to be making a lot more great content for you guys. Uh, also, when this video gets posted, let me know in the comments, is there anything that you are struggling with? If you are, please let me know in the comments. If there is something that has been really, really just want hands-on, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, you can reach out to me on Instagram. I would love to do a one-on-one -on -one with you on, uh, on FaceTime or video. Uh, it doesn't have to be on live. Uh, I will give my time to you guys to help you guys because that is why I started this channel. Um, now, I do love polished videos. I do. However, I have enjoyed lives so much that I just really, really appreciate you guys. And this is just a way that I can give back. I know a lot of people uh, get kind of scared when they see a new channel and they see about a 45 minute long video. They're not going to invest their time into my channel because of that. Um, and again, for that, I will be doing some polished videos for them, uh, for those kind of people out there that just want information. But I started this channel because I love coffee and I love to share my knowledge and want to know what you guys think. So that is a huge reason I started this channel and that's what I'm going to stick with. So I'm making all these different setups. I actually just made another setup and it's a huge chalkboard. And this is something that I'm extremely, extremely happy uh, to show you guys. And uh, actually, we're staying caffeinated in this channel, so just... You have questions and comments. Um, I am going to show you guys really quick, after I answer some of these questions, the new setup, because we are going to get pretty fancy on this channel. And let's just say class is in session, because I built for you guys a huge chalkboard this is the chalkboard back here but you see i can't really write on that because it, it's really awkward to be reaching my hand in there so i made a huge huge setup i have not done i still have a lot to go but it's going to be classroom time i'm going to be writing on the board if you guys have any questions throughout the whole week just find one of my videos or personally message me on Instagram, and I am going to have a question answering Friday. So every Friday, I will take all of the questions that you guys have, and I will write them on that chalkboard. And when I write them on that chalkboard, we are gonna walk through those questions. It doesn't have to be um, right on a specific machine. It can be anything coffee. And I will go through, and we will, and we will answer, or answer that live on YouTube, and on Instagram. So every Friday, it's going to be devoted to you guys. Every Friday, we are going to answer those questions, and I am going to pick one of those questions in particular, not, not based on something, it's just gonna be random, and we're gonna go more in depth on that question. So again, this is a way for me to give back to you guys. So again, thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. My wife is going to ask me some of your questions. I'm going to be cleaning up while I'm answering some of your questions. And we're going to show you a glimpse into that new setup and what it's going to potentially look like. So again, thank you guys so much. If you guys haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I am here for you guys. You guys are here for me. We are supporting each other. We are a family and I love you. Ali said, can you adjust your pre-infusion pressure and time duration with your machine? 
right, so you can. Um, it is a little bit trickier with the Linea Mini. It's not really, um, you can hold a button like the Brista Express, you can hold the uh, any button you want, single or double, and you pretty much, as soon as you let go of that button, then you're gonna allow that full injection of water uh, into the pup. So with the Linea Mini, it's a little bit more challenging because it is just an on off switch. So that lever is literally just there to turn on and off the switch. So it gets a little bit more difficult. There is um, an online app that I can show you guys as well. However, the online app um, is good, but I think you can only go up to a five second pre-infusion. So with the Linea Mini, that is the only downfall that I have is pre-infusion time not being too long. However, you're looking at a difference of a rotary pump versus a vibrating pump, and you are gonna get consistent shots back to back to back to back without any kind of flutter uh, with the Linea Mini. It's just gonna see that nice smooth shot. So you're gonna see that shot come out. You're not gonna see any kind of sputtering in that shot as opposed to like the Brista Express. You're gonna get a nice looking shot, and then all of a sudden you're gonna see it like really force that, uh, that coffee through the spout, and then it's just kind of because it's a lack of consistent pressure. So you're gonna see that pressure kind of go up and then it's gonna shoot all the way over and then it's gonna shoot all the way down. So with that, you're gonna get a lot more even extraction with the Linea Mini. So they kind of balance each other out. But to answer your question, I think you can only go up to a five second pre-infusion time. Angela said you're a great influence. Thank you so much. And, um... Ali said, we love you. We love you guys too. We are so thankful for all of you guys' support. Again, we couldn't be more thankful. Um, I'm going to kind of show you guys around in my new setup. Linda said, back to school about your new setup. Yes, absolutely, Linda. Back to school. So we're going to give you kind of a little look into the new setup here. So let me just go ahead and zoom out. Sorry for the mess, I'm still kind of working. This is kind of where I do all of my work to edit all of you guys' videos that I show you guys on my channel. But here is the new setup. So right now, it does look a little bit weird because you got this huge chalkboard with this little cart. I mean, it's not really little. I think it's just because of the video and the angle and stuff. But definitely extremely excited to show you guys. So I do have the white to be doing for you guys as well. Uh, I also have the White Fellow Stag that I have yet to open. Uh, I'm gonna open that with you guys live. I uh, just haven't had time. I've been doing all of this work to both of my setups for you guys. So here is the huge chalkboard that we are gonna be working with. I built all this myself. Uh, so I had to take time and stain it. Uh, I had to sand it and then roll on the chalk. So. Uh, the chalkboard. So this is definitely something that I, it's in the works. I'm going to be adding some shelves here, some shelves here, some overhead lights up here, um, just to kind of give you guys more of a spotlight so we have better lighting in here because as you guys see, um, the only light we have is this fan up here and just kind of over here. So this is a work in progress. Again, I am turning my rooms in my house into school sessions for you guys because this is just something that I am really passionate about and really excited to um, show you guys in the channel. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this channel. Um, I'm just trying to give back to you guys because this is something that I absolutely love to do. Now, there are people telling me that I need to start making more polished videos, and I will. However, this channel was started because I love coffee. I love making coffee. I make coffee from home like you guys, and this is a way for me to really, really connect with all of you guys from home. Um, now, I really, really enjoy lives because with lives, it really gives me that... Um, just that opportunity opportunity to connect with you guys. With a polished video, it does get me more subscribers. So when I was doing my polished videos every single day or every other day, uh, I was gaining a lot more subscribers than I am now. However, because I love making videos so much and interacting with you guys, 
Um, I am totally okay with growing a little bit slower and, uh, and being able to experience this with you guys because if I just made polished videos once a week and that's all that I could communicate with you guys through comments, um, they make me a little depressed, I'm not gonna lie, because this is something I look forward to. I spend my free time upgrading my setups, obviously for me and my wife, it's in our house, but to be able to connect with you guys so I can maybe make my setups a little bit better to teach you guys more. So that whole other setup in there is solely for manual machines and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna be doing my product reviews in there, so those will be edited and I will also be doing my answering questions on Friday. So it's gonna be a fun little segment. We're all gonna enjoy ourselves. We're gonna have fun. Uh, and I hope you guys love the concept of that room because that is why I made it. I spent a lot of time making that chalkboard uh, for you guys because it's something that I know is going to pay off and really help beginners out there who are maybe new to the channel or are still struggling with their machines. I hope that setup is going to help you guys answer the question. I'm going to be drawing all kinds of diagrams showing how that water is coming into the puck, why you guys are seeing channeling, what channeling is, a lot of questions that are on these forums that people want answers to. They don't want to be lied to. They don't want to be, uh, be shown cut corners. They want to see cut and dry. Why is this happening? And I am here to show you guys that. So again, Thank you guys so much for watching. I enjoy all of you guys. I am extremely blessed to be able to make this channel for you guys and to make these setups and continue to grow with all of you. Uh, I will be jumping on Instagram. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dylan.Licka. Uh, you get to see all of the behind the scenes um, besides the lives on YouTube. Uh, it's also going to be a good way to know uh, if you guys haven't clicked that notification button to know when I go on live, it's definitely a good tool to have on Instagram because it's going to show you most of the time when I am going live. Uh, so I will put a pre-post sometimes. Sometimes I'll just jump on live random, uh, just kind of give you guys a hey. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you guys so much. If you guys haven't already, follow me thank on YouTube you or follow me on YouTube and on Instagram. I will see you guys in about five minutes on Instagram and let's just have a conversation. Let's just talk. Let's just talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. If you guys have any questions for me about any of my setups, any kind of processes, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. Until next time, peace.